Welcome back my scale modeling friends. Today we're going to be taking a look at another scale model, this time around a VW Golf. For those of you who are unaware, Italieri is an Italian based company that is just like Ravel for Germans or Americans, or Airfix for Brits, or Tamiya for the Japanese. They are a scale model manufacturer that make all sorts of scale models from tanks, planes, boats, cars, figures, diorama pieces, you name it, they do it, they produce them. This time around I have chosen to showcase one of their civilian cars, VW Golf. Bam! This box, it's really rather lovely and um, I think we should just take a look inside the box and see what's inside. Hello and welcome if you have just joined me, my name is Tomo and this is the inbox review of the VW Golf GTI. 1976-78 series in very sexy red color. This is a 124 scale model and it's not exactly Italieri's brainchild. In fact, if you look at Scalemates, you will see that this is a new box, rebox version of their uh, S key version or SC version of the model, which has been released in, I don't know, 1970-ish and has been reboxed and redistributed several times throughout the years and this is just the latest version of this very old model. The age of this model really doesn't show on the outside. As you can see here we have nice clean lines, no flash, no dreadful seam lines. It's just a nice and clean model with a nice engine compartment. It's really rather wonderful to look at honestly. Where the age does show, however, is on the interior pieces. Uh, most notably, uh, the edges are really rounded and they look a little bit toyish. But that is to be expected from a model of this age. So I really can't be that critical of it. The clear parts, fantastic. They're clear, sharp, very well defined, and it's basically just one piece that you slap inside the whole body and you're done. The light lenses are also very well defined, especially the ones on the back, which are very typical for this Golf. When we come to the interior pieces, things go a little bit, well, on the soft side. You'll see very quickly that the interior pieces are so rounded and it, the finish is a little bit rough, um, but not in the sense that it has flash or nasty seam lines, but it just feels old, like old plastic. And especially here on the front grille, you can see the detail is very shallow. Much like with the last week's video where we have seen the uh, detail on the Volvo 760 GLE. But like I said, I really can't complain that much because for a 50 year old model, this thing looks fantastic. And it has a low part count, so I can easily recommend it to a beginner or somebody who's just coming back to this hobby after a long period of time. Note that you will have to do some cleanup and touch-ups here and there, but other than that, it's basically, in my opinion, very straightforward and simple. I didn't actually build this model in the past, and this is the first time I've actually seen it, so if any of you guys out there have built it, do let the community down in the comment section know below how this model goes together and if there are any tricks or tips that you can use to make it easier on you when you are building it or assembling it. This model of course gets equipped with four Pirelli tires which are in all honesty not that bad. Really not that bad. They're pretty nice and they don't have any particular crud on them so they're basically just ready to go out of the box. When we're taking a look at the decals, fantastic. Really good sharp clean lines, very nice detail, reasonably sharp separation of colors is fantastic, there's no bleeding of edges, no offset print, good. It's really simplistic in nature because you only have basically license plates and markings for countries, but you do have some dashboard elements and those little red stripe that goes all around the car which makes it a GTI, but you can easily paint that uh, with no problem. The instruction manual is really straightforward and simple, it's a fold out piece of paper with nice and clear to follow steps. Maybe a little bit cluttered sometimes, but still pretty reasonable. Well, congratulations, you have made it again to the end of my video. Thank you, I much appreciate it. Why don't you celebrate by clicking subscribe and like? Anyway, thank you so very much for watching, and I'll see you soon in the next one. Bye.